Oh gosh, I've clicked I've clicked live, but there you go. Hi! <laughs> Hi Sarah. <laughs> Hi Shana, thank you for joining me. Yes, this, thanks for having me. This was a flawless, no technical issues <laughs> at all, right? <laughs> Seamless. <laughs> so um for anyone who is watching who hasn't met you, will you introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks. Hey, everybody. I'm Shana TV. I'm a professional matchmaker. I create couples in the US and Israel and possibly around the globe. And I'm thrilled to be here with Sarah. We met not so long ago and she's become somebody I adore very quickly. Likewise. <laughs> mm. Thank you. So um, we had the idea today to talk about um, maximizing uh your dating profile picture we very quickly came up with these like these notes that you see in the middle here um right. which i want to try and figure out a way to make them bigger but i don't want to like cover hmm. our heads but here we go we can also post them after yeah for sure definitely very good um so yeah so one of the things we chatted about when we were talking about like photography um, mm -hmm. you know, for profile pictures when you're dating is, is the whole psychology behind profile pictures. Like when you see someone's picture, the, the, the psychological process that goes on behind it, which happens very, you know, in a split second, mm -hmm. but it's there. So will you talk about like what that's like for you? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, a as a matchmaker, I'm always collecting people's profiles to use professionally with other matchmakers. Some people um, do work with matchmakers. Some people are on dating websites. Both are both are OK. And part of that is that when you see a profile, um, if you're if your intention is that you want to be in a long term committed relationship, there's certain pictures that might reflect that better. You know, if people are happy and they want to date and they're looking for dates, that's also fine, but there's pictures that might reflect that. So just consider to yourself what you're thinking about and what your intention is. And, and that's the type of pictures you want to put on your profile. Yeah, that's the part like where we said like how, how we see ourselves, but also how we want to be seen, seen by others with a view to um, you are going to meet these people possibly and you're right. going to actually turn up for the date face to face and, and they're going to see you in real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, um, exactly. Uh, yes, and then there's this point of like, you know, we all know first impressions count, but um, when you're looking at someone's profile picture, it doesn't move, it doesn't say anything, it doesn't have any any body language or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. just a static picture. And so um, we make very quick assumptions about people based on that picture. And I love it when I have that experience. I mean, not dating, I was saying I haven't dated since sure. 1994. But you know, meeting people that I've seen the pictures on Facebook, and then I see them in real life. And I love it when, when they match. When I see Absolutely. them, and I'm like, I know you. And then other times you can see people, you know, like, oh, I had no, like, you just don't correlate with your profile picture at all. There's a really big disconnect. A hundred percent, you know, especially since 2020, where most people's lives pivoted to being online. And like, I've made tons of friends online. And then maybe once you start meeting people in person, yeah, sometimes I've spotted people out and I'll be like, Oh my God, I, I know who they are because of being <laughs> online. Right. And yeah, because you look like your profile picture, but you're right. People that don't, especially in the lens of dating, people feel a little bit, um, you know, scammed in a way. Yeah. Yeah. We feel a bit choosy. We're like, why are you trying to pretend to be that when you're this? Right. Uh, what like right. it makes us a little bit suspicious if we're going to analyze it. Yeah, totally. And that's something that we've been chatting about is like the 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 marriage between matchmaking and photography and and branding and and marketing yourself is really about being your best self. Yeah, so we've mm -hmm. yes, that's the first do on the list. Um, <laughs> right, we did some do's right. and don'ts. So like showing your best self um, for me it means you're going to be just like a kind of 
an amplified version of yourself. So if I was mm -hmm. going to go for a photo session to show my best self, I probably wouldn't be like wearing my workout gear, um, mm -hmm. you know, after a workout. I would probably put on something that I would, you know, if I was going to meet you for a coffee date, you know, mm -hmm. I would dress up a bit. I wouldn't go over the top. I would have makeup because when I leave the house, that's what I do. You know, for guys, you're going to pick a shirt that isn't crumpled and stained and creased because if you're going for a job interview, you wouldn't turn right. up like that, right? So your best self doesn't have to mean like, you know, top hat and tails and, uh, you know, and just, you know, like for me, if I was going to put on a pair of heels, I would feel ridiculous because I don't wear them. So best self yeah. is going to really differ between people. It really does. It's it's your best self that that you want to you know amplify. And and you mentioned something about workout clothes. For example, you know if you were a personal trainer, then sure, yeah. show up in your like cutest best workout clothes. Absolutely. Yeah. But right. But I'm not that. So <laughs> you know you would would... <laughs> show up in what you want to make your best impression is as yourself. Another thing, for example, for guys, let's say you're, you're a guy that, that does shave. You would want to come freshly shaven. But if you're somebody that's a little bit more, you know, mountain man or, or of a certain, uh, you know, um, religiosity level and, and you have a beard, like then, yeah, just make it, make it neat. Like mm. make yourself look neat. Yeah. Now I'm really looking forward to the don't. This is the one that just keeps cracking me up. Um, we we were talking about how um, a lot of people on dating apps, um, a lot of women report having seen men either, either holding up a fish that they've caught when they've been out on the boat, or standing yeah. in front of a car that isn't necessarily theirs. Totally. And like, talk to me about that. What's all that about? Okay. I mean, I, I, I saw one of your friends mentioned about the fish, but I also, because I also match make in Florida, it's a thing. Right. It's a thing. What, what, is it? <laughs> what does it represent? I caught this big fish, therefore I am manly. I can provide for you. Oh, <laughs> me, me caveman. Me bring your food. Right. Okay. Right, I right, it. right, right, right. I mean, you know, I think some people are showing, you know, maybe their, their sportiness or, you know, honestly, I'm if somebody's outdoorsy. like an avid, right. If they're like an avid fisherman, amazing. But like, if you're not, no need, no need. <laughs> yeah. And we want to see, I mean, we talk about this a little bit later, but we want to see your face, you know, we don't want to mm -hmm. really see your fish. <laughs> <laughs> There's other not parts the, we don't want to see, right? Not on the first date. <laughs> so show your um, fish on first date. Okay. <laughs> there you go. But then um, also, yeah. Yeah. Go on, please. Well, I think I already kind of said I, I skipped to one of these do's already is is to make an, an effort. Mm -hmm. You know, um, a lot of people say to me when when, when they're booking a, a photo session, and it's usually women. Should I wear makeup? Don't really have guys mm. saying that to me. Um, and I just say, like, if you're going to look back at the picture and be upset that you look washed out and that, um, you know, your your lips, you know, aren't, like, glossy or whatever and you wish mm -hmm. you'd have done your eyebrow, like, you know, imagine yourself looking at the pictures and think whether you're going to be disappointed or not. Um, mm -hmm. And the makeup doesn't have to be anything, like, earth-shattering. Mm -hmm. I, From experience of having my pictures taken uh i would say next time i do it i would probably get a, a makeup artist to do something really really minimal and light but the reason i would get a makeup artist is because it lasts because mm -hmm. from having your makeup done to when you actually get the headshots done there might be a gap you might need to get in a car and it can come off so yeah yeah I, no, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I would say for a photo shoot, you're, first of all, you're investing. You're investing in yourself. You're investing in your image. You're investing in how you look. I would definitely try to do some hair and makeup. But again, we're not talking about uh, glamour shots. So right. I'm going to reference like the U.S. from the 80s. Ladies, we're not talking about J.C. Penney's glamour shots. You know, <laughs> this, <laughs> we're talking like, a once over, like neat 
and, yes. and, and ready to face the camera. And if that makes you feel confident, if makeup doesn't make you feel confident, then maybe that's something, you know, t to skip. And right. if it makes you feel yeah. confident, then I'd say, yes, go for it. Yeah. And, and, you know, for, for guys, I have had guys when I used to have a studio in America, I remember one guy <laughs> turning up, um, well, it was, it was for a family shoot. And they all decided that they were wearing jeans and white shirts. Okay. Right. But, but there's like jeans and white shirts where you're like wearing this Ralph Lauren, you know, shirt with a collar that stands just so. And then there's like this like white t-shirt that's probably meant to be an undershirt that has a stain on it and is creased. Mm -hmm. right. And it's just like, we, <laughs> I don't think we talked about this enough, you know, and, and that's the thing is like, um, it's really worth what, you know, chatting that, through those things with your photographer beforehand. Um, I did mm -hmm. headshots for a guy recently and he was just trying to decide, you know, what kind of shirt he would wear. Should it be a check shirt or should it be a plain blue? And, um, you know, I helped him, you know, pick out what I thought was best mm -hmm. for him. Um, I'm trying to think what else like is important, you know, for, like what's the equivalent of guys for makeup. And all I came up with was the shirt. I, I didn't come up with anything else. How about you? <laughs> I mean, again, you know, like if you make sure you have a haircut, um, consider what you're going to wear. You know, if you, if you shave, do that. Um, definitely, mm. you know, wh whatever makes you feel confident, do that. And then the camera will, the professional photography will amplify whatever right. it is you're bringing to the table. And right. I think that's important. You know, if, you, you know, like, like we mentioned, even, even about the fish, like, I guess if you are, uh, professional fisherman and yeah <laughs> go for it but Bring fish. Fish. <laughs> well okay I think like it's fun um it is funny so then um yeah so I, I put here to not like don't get dressed up like you're meeting the queen you know if I'm gonna meet right. you for a date um and then you you know in your picture you're wearing this like three-piece suit and then you turn up, yeah, like in a tracksuit. Um, what do you call, what do mm -hmm. Americans call? What what do you call tracksuit when you don't live? Yeah, with the tracksuit's fine. <laughs> no, or sweatpants. Sweat I sweatsuit. Forgot. Yeah, sweats. Um, it again. There's the disconnect. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, like when you're picking, picking what you want to wear. Um, you don't necessarily. I, I saw a photo shoot once where the woman was dressed. In, it was magnificent, but it was like you say, it was a glamour shoot. Mm -hmm. um, she had the most magnificent emerald green ball gown wow. and stilettos. And I just thought, wow, this is magnificent, but um, I couldn't imagine wearing this. To a like, who knows? Maybe it was a fashion shoot. But um, yeah, I'm saying it's not a fashion shoot. You don't have to go to those lengths. Uh, if you really have nothing, a lot of people don't have anything in their wardrobe because they've forgotten how to go shopping in the last couple of years. So you may mm -hmm. need to go shopping because we, we've spent a lot of time not leaving the house and we've all got very used to loungewear. So I have had a lot of clients <laughs> that say like I had to go shopping, which is fair enough. But right. you know, shop shop for the the you that isn't meeting the queen. Yeah, and definitely shop for something that makes you I know I've mentioned this before about feeling confident but like there's all types of body sizes out there there's all types of bodies and you you want to find clothes that make you feel good make you look good and no matter what your size or shape if you feel confident about what you're wearing in the photo shoot it's going to come across and I think that's super important also when you're thinking about your dating profile and creating that um, you know, you, you are who you are today, even if you're simultaneously working on maybe improving that or bettering yourself or being more healthy, it doesn't really matter. You keep going, but like wear what you need to yeah. wear today. With pride. Yes, yes. With pride. Yes. Which, which is like, which brings me to the, to the next point, which is be yourself. And that's like, be yourself in your actual profile with what you write. And, and be yourself in the pictures, like when it comes to the time for the photo session, like whenever I'm posing people, you know, I very often want to get a pose where they, they where the hands are involved. Okay. But I, I, I don't want to, you know, I very often do this when I'm talking. So for this, mm. it, it would be natural for me. But, you know, if someone asked me to kind of do that, I would feel really stupid because it's just not me, you know, like a, a, a pose where I'm kind of like leaning my head on my hand without my headphones. 
um, <laughs> would be natural for me. But you know, like there's there's someone like the thinking one here where I've got like my elbow propped up, not right. me, right? So so you can like you know hopefully you'll you'll have a photographer that will not make you do dumb things, but you can also speak up for your, yourself and say mm, that's not a very me pose. You know, I love that you said that. If it doesn't feel right, maybe it's not gonna gonna come across looking right, and that, that's why it's super valuable to have a photographer like you who communicates with your clients and, and wants to show them in the most comfortable self. I'm thinking back to my wedding pictures that happened in, ah. in Israel and they're like, do this really weird extravagant pose. And I'm like, okay. No. Yeah. And there's <laughs> you know. pictures of me going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wait, absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, I would trust the photographer, but if it doesn't feel right, then maybe it isn't right for you. Yeah, Absolutely. they don't always. They don't always know. They don't always do the research. I mean, our wedding photographer asked my husband to hold the bouquet. That's just weird, right? And he was like, <laughs> "Do I have to?" And we're like, "Okay, let's move on." Um, yeah. That that also, I'm going to skip a teeny bit because that also leads right into um, the sunglass thing, like, uh, and it happens a lot in my opinion and in my experience. It happens a lot more with with. Um, photographs in, in Israel, there's always that cool picture with the sunglasses. Sunglass pictures are great if it's like a full body shot, but like right. sunglass pictures are not necessary if it is a, uh, a close up, if it's a, if it's a head shot. People want to see your eyes. People want to like see who you are. We want to see your eyes. Your eyes are the yeah. to the soul. Like everyone knows that. Like, right. Um, just like, you know, we wanted to see people like the whole people's faces when we were all walking around wearing masks, we found it really difficult to connect with the whole face because part yeah. of it was missing. And it's the same with sunglasses. Like mm -hmm. it's cute as part mm -hmm. of a, of a branding shoot as part of like a whole set of photos. But if there's like mm -hmm. one picture that you're choosing, no. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, so, and that yeah. And another thing that we discussed was Photoshop. Um, and that's, you know, obviously I, well, not obviously, but I really advise against it. It's not something that I do for my okay. clients. If people want Photoshop, I send them to a website where they will do it for you. But if you're going to be Photoshopping out all of your wrinkles and crow's feet and whatever else we want to call them, then again, there's going to be a disconnect between that and when the person mm. actually meets you, you know, like if you're going to get the Photoshop um, website to take off your double chin and you know slim your waist and all of those things it, it doesn't make sense because you're looking to meet people who are going to see you as you are now so Agreed. again it's kind of what's the word suspicious like it could like over photoshopping can be misleading i mean i you know i, I I think most photographers do like a little professional touch up yeah. on like here if you've and ended there. up with a little annoying scratch on your face or something. Right. Then right. fine. If you have to have a like a stain here because you dropped your coffee on the way, we can <laughs> get rid of that. Yeah. But like Definitely. changing how you look. No, and I had someone once say to me, like, can you get rid of my grey hair? No, it wasn't grey hairs, it's the mm. roots. The colour mm -hmm. was that's something you need to think about. If your color, yeah. um, your roots are starting to show through, go get your hair done. It's a yeah. lot easier than removing it in Photoshop. True. I feel quite bossy. <laughs> <laughs> well, but people are turning to you because you're the professional. So I don't think it's bossy. It's like, tell me what to do. You know that. Right. I, I agree. You know, if, if if you know, different photographers might have different philosophies. But if like you want a natural representation of yourself then I think that's what you're going to direct people to do right which was our which was the next thing on our list basically use a professional get a headshot yeah to relax and look, look natural because it's really it's a very unnatural thing um and I've done it a few times that it it, it it like I've gone into like a lawyer's office mm -hmm. and um there's no time for me to kind of like chat with anyone and like warm mm -hmm. them up or anything it's just like walk in do this pose stand here, blah, 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 three different ways of posing, goodbye, next. And you're mm -hmm. like spending like three minutes with each person. Um, the photographer has to, you know, you, you've got to have that time to relax in it um, a, mm -hmm. and find out what feels natural and what feels good for you so that you're not just like, so cheese. 
Absolutely. <laughs> now, um, this this was something that we both um, agreed was a big don't, which was submitting itself. He's taken in a dirty bathroom because the lighting is good. <laughs> so people Honestly. do like the lighting in bathrooms because it's a bit like you know, when mm -hmm. you use a ring light, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's very like diffused and it doesn't create those shadows usually. Mm -hmm. Um, but the flip side of that is, do we, do we really want to see you in a public toilet? <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'm sure tons of people have seen this and know exactly what we're talking about because all over, uh, the internet, especially on dating websites, there's pictures of people. Not everybody is going to use a professional photographer we get it but like if you're taking a selfie in a bathroom like no one wants to see all the elements in your bathroom especially if it's like untidy or whatever right. you know and i do look i do look when i see i'm not on again i'm not on dating app guys right fine. but i'm looking <laughs> you know like just on facebook when people have their profile pictures i'm look i do look at what's going on in the background and I'm like they've left out yeah. their medication that's just weird yeah, no, so, you can you know, do a little spying. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, so this is an interesting one I've discussed with clients before, is, is the idea of showing your teeth when you smile. Mm. Um, I do know, know people that really, really don't like it because they think they have horrendous, awful teeth. So I guess, you know, you can't force everyone. Right. But, but you know... Um, I don't know, for some reason people see, maybe it's because we've had like passport pictures taken where we're told we're not mm. supposed to, like I'm not sure how it all began, but there's this like permission that people seem to need to like do the full smile. Mm. I mean, this could be heading in a different direction, but I think, you know, also different cultures, like culturally, might, maybe some people don't smile with teeth, maybe some people do, but definitely, you know, if you are comfortable smiling with your teeth, like that's the ideal situation. That's a good way to put it. Yes. Right. Yeah. And I've tried, sure. like I tried doing kind of a, a less of a smile, like, uh -huh. you know, like I was practicing for my photo shoot in, in the mirror, as I tell my clients to do. And I just look like bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like a bitchy and judgmental look. I'm like, oh no, that's terrible. No, no, oh no. Oh my God. Well, I guess come <laughs> as your best self if you want to have that resting bitch face and that's what you want to be known for. <laughs> go, go for it. No, but you, so, know, it, you yeah. know, the eyes, the smile, it kind of lends to like what you said at the beginning because these are not moving documents, moving pictures. You want to try to get a first impression. And yes, usually a smile with your teeth and showing your eyes is, is the ideal situation. Yeah. And, and I mean, you mentioned the sunglasses before. We also talked about yeah. just generally not hiding your face. I, do, I have seen people's profile pictures where they're hiding behind their dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's just uh, something in you think, why are they hiding? Like, what are we hiding here? Yeah, or the or the like up the nose picture or the de like there's so many different oh. like weird angles or the half. Maybe people think they're being artistic, but really, yeah, like, we don't want to see up your nose. Not on the first, not pre first <laughs> date anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and we talked about this also. You don't need a picture with all your friends, like all your friends because we're not going to know you know somebody who's scrolling and they're looking for a date or to meet somebody and they see somebody with all their friends you don't really know who that person is <laughs> i'm laughing because my husband used to be in a he was in a running group and his profile mm. picture at the time was this gorgeous picture of me and him nice and he'd arranged to run with someone this guy and his name was James on you know on his profile picture but I guess a lot of Israelis just I don't know maybe it looked like Jane who knows and he thought he was running with me oh he, he thought so it was confused. a date <laughs> yeah and then my husband turns up he's like oh <laughs> I wasn't expecting that so yeah That's like funny. Just a picture we, ju we just want you we don't want a group photo and we also don't want okay. you where you've cut off your ex or you were you had your arm mm. around someone and you cropped it out. Also, like yeah. just a little bit like unnecessary and disturbing. Um, I also wrote like to fill the frame, and what I mean by that is basically mm -hmm. like you could be 
like over here, right? <laughs> or you could be like we could see all of you, mm -hmm. like more or less. We don't have to chop your head off, but more or less all of you in the frame up to here. So that yeah. um you're as close up as possible without chopping off your head. Which if you know, we in the fly that we did for this, that's basically mm -hmm we basically understood the assignment <laughs> nailed it <laughs> i wrote anyway. that we like we don't care about the waterfall like this right. isn't the place for showing that lovely environmental shot i guess like mm -hmm. i don't know how it works on dating apps if you get the chance to show like a few different situations then fine you can show that you're an outdoorsy type and that you love waterfalls but for that first impression shot we just want to see see you filling the frame yeah, so here's what I usually recommend for people to submit three photographs and I want um, a headshot. I want a, a full length, whether it's they're going out or whether it is they're dressed up because they're a yoga instructor, whatever, right. you know, you can add a little bit more personality to that one. Um, and then a third one can be maybe another headshot, but like in a, in a different look. You know, maybe like two looks and a full length picture. That's what I recommend mm. for uh, dating profiles. And then all the stuff that we talked about in regards to making the best headshot possible. Yeah, and there's just a little thing that I added in there, which was like smiling with your eyes. Who was it? Was it Tyra Banks? That talked about yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, exactly. And if you try like smart, like in front of the mirror, smiling and then smiling with your eyes, like telling yourself a joke or something, uh, you know, you see the difference. It, it's more, it's more authentic. It's more inviting. Um, and then, and then the last, the last little um, bullet point I had there is not to submit in black and white. I don't know if this is something that you discuss with clients. Um, mm -hmm. but I, you know, like, it just it, it gives a certain impression of you that I don't know it I think for me um it it, it would just rule rule you out to a lot of people hmm. I think it's okay as an additional photo but I wouldn't make it one of the the three that I talked about yeah okay. definitely yeah so what are we going to talk about next well, again. <laughs> we'll do this one again. I think we're also going to talk about what goes in a profile. Like we talked a lot about the picture. I think we'll also at another point talk a little bit about the content. And I think we're also going to maybe talk about how Sarah and Shana can help people <laughs> to achieve this amazing thing that we're asking we, that we're advising are we, keep, are we not are we not telling that uh, are we not doing that today are we waiting let's let's we give a now? sneak yeah go for it sarah okay cool just checking yeah yeah <laughs> so here's the plan the plan is that hopefully in july we are going to do a headshot afternoon event mm -hmm. and i'm going to let you talk about the details of that um, but what I wanted to do was basically encourage anyone that wants to come come to this event for the sake of a getting your dating um, profile pictures up to date, but b also um, you know have the chance to mingle and meet other single people. Mm -hmm. um, they can sign up with you via your website, which is going to come up in this little snazzy thing over here. I'm going to get rid of this do's and don'ts thing and see what happens there we go oh amazing helpful. um so that is the url and i think we'll pro i can probably add it afterwards somewhere on this live so people can actually click it so take mm -hmm. it away yeah so that is um shana connects.com slash join is my private uh database for single people single divorced widowed who might be wanting to be considered as a match um, for another single divorce windowed person. And this is gonna be, we're gonna make a funnel in regards to registering for this future event that's coming up in July. But for the meantime, if you go to shanaconnects.com slash join, submit your private information, only I can see it. It's not like a, a picture shopping website or anything like that. 
And then what if you write in where it says, how'd you hear about it? If you write in Sarah, or if you write in Sarah's Facebook Live, you know, something to identify that that's how you heard, that's, that's why you're registering, then we will send you the rest of the information as we make it happen yeah. <laughs> in regards to this event. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun evening. We'll have like appetizers, some drinks, it'll be some singles, it'll be photography, it'll be me creating um, a complete one page profile for you. So it actually you're going to walk away with some very, very, very high quality stuff. Awesome. I'm excited. Yay. I know me too. Okay. <laughs> okay so we are gonna we're gonna do um another live next week um we um we haven't picked a topic yet but we have so much more to talk about um but meanwhile if you are interested in signing up for shane's database and getting all the info on our upcoming event then that is the address to join and as i said i'm gonna find a way of adding it into the comments as well afterwards all right thank you thank you internet for working thank you to my yeah, son right. for not being home yet and hogging up the bandwidth i'm so grateful i know same here <laughs> and my dog did not bark so yes. <laughs> all right sarah this was awesome thank you again Cheers. see you soon bye everybody bye, bye.